I have a very important weight for somebody right now, okay? And I believe with this weight, it can be a teaching to every one of us because at one point or another, we bump into this situation. And when we bump into it, we react in a bad way out of a character or out of the way in which a normal Christian is supposed to act. Listen very close here. Don't let the enemy try to make you lose your focus over something small. We know that as we are living in this world, we are in a constant battle. And even some battles, we don't start them, but the enemy begins, provokes us, to put it simple. You can walk on the street, you meet somebody, they provoke you, and you're like, no, but I did nothing wrong. This person just, it is, it is the case. Even in the spirit realm, you have, we have one common enemy, Satan himself. And now I want to tell you that as you're walking, there is a thing called competition. There is a thing called, um, I don't know if I can use fighting or what, what, what. But as long as you are living here, you will always set the standard even without knowing or indirectly. Where people will look at you, they begin to measure you up. And this is most common with people around you in your community your friends, even your family members, like the case of Joseph. The reason they couldn't accept that they're going to bow down to him is because they always looked at him as someone who's inferior. There is no way you can bow down to this thing. That's how people look at you. Even your closest people, friends especially, there are some, they just won't tell you verbally. When they look at you, they'll be like, ah, if this one can do this, even I. And let me tell you, that does not even concern friends alone, but people around you. I've even had cases where someone, when they bought, um, when they thought this person bought something, they were like, oh, we always wonder, we can, how can this person get this? Even I, there's no way I can afford that such a thing. I was like, I were like, nah, nah. To show that they had looked at that person, they were like, no ways. Even when they see, it seems like this person has achieved this thing, they'd be like, no ways, there must be something, not that one. But one thing that I can assure you, when they begin to start these things, you will do some things, you start a business and they think, oh, if this one can make it, let me also do the same, I can even do it better. Let me tell you that nothing beats the anointing. When God has anointed you to do that, you will do it with ease. It will look easy to people and when they try, they will realize this is harder than we thought. That's what results to some people even surrendering, coming to you for advice. Some surrendering and beginning to hate you for it. Because they want to do what you're doing, but they can't. And they don't understand. They thought it's easy. But who makes it easy? It is the God in you. And if you are to focus on that, they are coping you. You are to focus on that. Ah, these people, they are, they're going to ruin my business. Oh, these people, they think they can be like me. Oh, no, God is going to punish. Listen, whoever does things while not being led by God, there is no way they won't get far. But if you do it while you have God, there is no way they can surpass you. Remember, it means it is God who is doing those things. It is God who gives you the ability for wealth. So no matter how much they copy you, there is nothing. If they copy you and they over surpass, it means their God is better than yours. So that makes it even easier for you to understand what's going on. So stop worrying. Keep on. Don't let them distract you. If they copy you, just smile and let go and focus on your lane and you will see who is the real God. I pray for you right now in Jesus name. Amen. My details are in the comment section below. See you next time.